Hey everyone, it's Brad in the back with another stuff. Today is Monday, October 11th, and it's the afternoon time, roughly 4 p.m. Central Time. I hope you guys are doing well. And I've got some information for you guys. As you guys know, let's go. Um, Not a ton going on today. Uh, we made it through the first day of the work week. Coffee machine's beeping. Uh, we made it through the first day of the work week, so congrats to everybody out there for that. Um, uh, we do have a football game on tonight as far as like what's happening today. Um, so I'll probably be keeping an eye on that. Um, with that being said, not a ton else. Uh, maybe load up some video games or maybe I'll just relax. I don't really know. With that being said, I've got some information for you guys. As you guys know, spreadsheet, Reddit, homey price. And I'm going to wrap it up right there. We also have information about the drop coming up, though, uh, I believe tomorrow. So let's talk about that as well, guys. Um, and definitely, um, I've been keeping an eye on some stuff and I'm excited to bring it to you guys. So let's pop right into it, huh? Spreadsheet will be linked in the description down below. If you need to know the price of any VV NFTs, you're going to want to go to the link in the description down below. You're looking for Column I on the Market Prices tab as well as Column I on the Digital Comics tab. We've also got five portfolio calculators on here where you can type in how many of each NFT you have. It'll tell you what your portfolio is worth. <sighs> All right, guys, I've been trying to keep an eye on some of the prices. I've been noticing a lot of prices have been stand put, but there's definitely some prices I want to shout out. First of all, Captain Carter is pushing like $300 right now, guys. It's right in the 290s region right now, kind of fluctuating up and down, but it is in the 290s region. Worth mentioning. Also, with that being said, there's another piece that I absolutely have to shout out, and that would be the Gold Dragon Girl. I've got the Gold Dragon Girl down on the spreadsheet at $1,600, guys. Nah. It's not $1,600 no more, guys. It's officially, let's see, $2,289. So $2,300. Bucks, so a pretty substantial gain there of like, what, $700? Congrats to all the holders. Let's go. I'm so glad I bought that Gold Dragon Girl for like $1,600. That was so great. I'm very happy about it, guys. Um, and that's pretty much what I've been keeping an eye on. I know I haven't, I didn't mention that many NFTs, but I haven't been, like, there's so many NFTs. Back in the day, it was so easy to very easily kind of get a quick overview of the market. Now it's just so insane, guys, that it's not as easy anymore. But I did want to bring you those prices, though, because those prices were going crazy. Shout out to all the holders out there. Let's go. With that being said, guys, let's pop straight away into the Reddits. All right. I'm going to run through some Reddits here. We got Crypto Nudge saying uh, minimum specs needed to succeed. I have no idea. Humble Office saying why are comic prices dropping so hard? SR are literally 1K. Too many drops, not enough users. Could be. I mean, that's your that's what you think. Um, we've got Andy B4000 who plans to hold the bottom left pick. What, the Spider-Man? Yeah, of course. Um, an error or crash is not an error or crash unless it is actually an error or crash. I don't know what you're saying. Uh, we got Rico Pilskin saying, hope you're reading your comics. We've got soft release. Oh, wow. The fourth and final set of No Time to Die posters. Um, these posters are coming out soon, apparently, on Wednesday. So we got, two, we got two drop days in a row, guys. Coming up, we've got... Tomorrow, we've got a comic, and then looks like Wednesday, we've got more posters coming up. Um, we've got the Watchers Learn Your Comic History, Miles Morales drop in Ultimate Fallout 4, which we will be talking about in a moment. This is from our homie HP Heroes. We've got uh, Reddit Keisha saying auctions. We've got Handle 15, sorry, Handle 15444. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Look at our homie. He's got a nice collection of pieces. Look at that. Look at how many... Man, look at that. That's special. This guy's got some Captain Carters built up for sure. We got Lane Reddit. I'm no scientist, but I think we've hit the bottom. I don't know what you're saying. We got Granola Warfare app update notice. I don't know what that's about because the photo won't load. We do have Crypto Nudge again, Convert Gems to Omi. We've got... Uh, Mix so hype, restricted market access for a week now. Um, we've got Granola Warfare with the post about the drop coming up tomorrow. Um, Ultimate Fallout 4, we'll talk about it. Express Grass saying market access Wi-Fi. We've got there are we've got alarming management. There are bots, but there are also 
people with ill intent who manipulate. I don't, I mean, yeah. We got TSF Reddit snagged another low sub. Very nice. Very nice to our homie TSF Reddit. We got OK Dragon captured before reserving order as opposed to after. Yeah, that's what we think. So off release Halloween drop. Man, I would love to have like a nice Halloween drop. That would be dope. Limp Fix, would you like to get? Wait, would you like to get as an investment either one Gavanchi Pride or three Golden Dragon Girls? I don't even know. It's so effing simple to destroy these bots. When the drop timer come to zero zero, and user able to click by now, then put a capture. Yeah. I mean, I just mentioned that in my earlier video. Capture. We've also got a person, uh, Alcazar's, um, and that's pretty much where I left off, actually, so we're going to wrap it up right there, guys. With that being said, we do have Omi's price trading at point zero zero seven six one three. Omi can be your Omi. I'm not going to be your daddy, and nothing in this video is financial advice, and you guys already know that. And the very last thing is actually going to be about the drop, guys. So we do have a drop coming out tomorrow, and this is going to be the um, Ultimate Fallout number 4 comic. Um, this comic looks sick. I personally think that the rare as well as the secret rare are absolutely awesome. I mean, I don't hate the ultra rare, but I just think that the rare looks amazing. I happen to think that the secret rare looks also looks amazing. Um, this apparently is the first appearance of Miles Morales. Um, just so you guys know, um, in case you guys need to hear that. Um, and also... What's cool about this cover right here, the secret, it almost looks like Dr. Doom is like on there. It doesn't say anything about it on here, but I feel like that's what that is, is Dr. Doom on there. So I think that looks pretty cool. With that being said, um, typical comic drop price and typical drop, sorry, typical common drop additions as well. 30,000 meaning 21,000 commons as well as 600 secret rares, of course. Um... And that's going to be pretty much the same as a lot of the last comics we have. And I do think that some of these covers look dope. I like, I love this rare. I love the rare. I think the rare looks amazing. I think it looks sick. I'd love to know what your guys' opinions are about these covers. And it's uh, pretty much all I have for you guys today. Let me know uh, down in the comments down below, though. Do you guys like those? Um, with that being said, that's pretty much everything I have for you guys today. Congrats for making it through Monday. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.